we have a very large following on social media with uh, Facebook and our website, and we put out a promotion to sell one of our buildings. And uh, we got such a huge response that we actually put it up as an auction. And uh, my client ended up purchasing the building for his remote property in Desolation Sound, a few hours north of Vancouver. And he came back to me and said, listen, I have a larger plan I want you to take a look at. And the interesting thing was he'd had three or four other contractors look at it, and none of them bid the project. It was either too technical, too remote, uh, too challenging for them, or it just wasn't in their scope of building. Or they simply didn't have the manpower to build it. So the client came to me and showed me a set of plans of what he wanted to build. And I kind of had a similar thought originally. I said, you know what, this is a very challenging build to do in a remote location. What if we can design you something that we can build in our shop in North Vancouver? We can build it to the design and architectural standards that you want. And what if we can deliver that building in a much shorter time than what it would take you to build it on site? And that's what got the discussion going. So whenever we look at a building project, the most important thing to look at is how do we get the modules there? In this case, the client wanted a building that was 690 square feet. That's obviously too big to transport on the road or on a barge as one piece, and, and particularly the access road to this property was very, very challenging. So we designed modules that were 13 feet wide and 26 feet in length with overhangs, and there were three modules almost identical in size. On the morning of in North Vancouver, on the morning of the move, the first goal of the day was to separate the modules. So we had done our dry fit in the parking lot, made sure everything came together properly, flashings, flashings were in the right spot, uh, walls came together properly. The first stage was to separate those buildings into, into three modules and then prepare them for transport. Using our, our high mobility trailer, we're able to get the trailer into locations and more importantly, out of locations, which would be very challenging for for standard transport trucks. Our, our trailer can literally lift up and crab sideways on, on sideways wheels, and it can turn itself and, and project and retract uh, wherever we need to. One by one, we load them onto a trailer. and took them down to the east side of Vancouver and load them onto a, a large transport barge. That night, the barge uh, sailed to Desolation Sound to a, a barge ramp on the island. The following morning, we flew in and met the barge. I think the morning of was, was fantastic because we had our whole crew on the, on the seaplane. At least the majority of the crew were with us on that day. Some were ahead already on the island, but I think we had uh, nine crew members on the plane. We came in and were able to do a, about a 180 degree bank around the barge and, and really got a good sense of what the day was going to hold. We looked down the barge and we had our little buildings on that barge and the barge was the size of two football fields and our little buildings were on there. Uh, it was quite, uh, quite humbling to fly over that. Basically, the barge dock location wasn't really much of a dock. It was a, a jetty of rocks, and uh, we were able to put the barge ramp down onto that and to offload, and proceeded to truck each one of these modules up the hill to the, the build site. In the case of our Desolation Sound project, we knew we had some grades that were going to be a challenge, where we had soft soil, heavy weights, and we were concerned that we wouldn't be able to get up the hills. So we hired an on-site excavator to be there and to assist us if we, if we ran into trouble. Uh, well, this, this building here is probably 25% more, well, 20% more weight. It's got all the flooring in it. It's got about 1,000 pounds of glass and uh, all the bathrooms. So it was substantially heavier and we got caught up on a couple of hills. But uh, we had good preparation. We had some pull straps and extra trucks and equipment, so we got it up the hill. Primarily West Coast Outbuildings is a modular building supplier. So things like foundation work and excavation 
we're usually able to find local contractors on the island who can be more cost effective for those particular components. They have the machines on the island, they can, they can do that work no matter what the weather conditions. What we look at is bringing in the building and the infrastructure to do that. In the case of our Desolation Sound project, uh, from the day we were on site to the day we were done, it was seven days. These guys are basically doing it all. This house is capturing rainwater, filtering it, and pumping it back up to the house to be used. Energy efficient building with energy efficient appliances. This is a great way to go. In the seven days, we went from a bare foundation to a completed building with its own water treatment, its own solar, and its own septic system. And it's complete in seven days. The client's vision for this project was a uh, very clean and simple design building, uh, but with bold lines. And as we were talking with the client, he made a comment about his collection of architectural books and how proud he was of these books. And you could see the glint in his eye when he talked about his, his library. So the, I sat down with our designer, Daniel, and we, we thought about uh, what this building should look like. And somehow we came up with the idea that the building would look like a book on its side, where the roof and the floor would be the covers of the book and the corrugated steel that, that formed the side of the building would be the pages. And the idea was it was a book sitting on the edge of a, of a, of a cliff. And that's what it kind of looks like in the end. From the first moment that we sat down with the client to hear his vision of what he wanted to have built, and in many cases thought could never be built, it was just shy of 11 months before we handed over the keys to the finished product. We live in beautiful British Columbia, and if you get just a little bit outside of where people are normally buying, and you look a little bit more remote, uh, I think you'll be able to open up a lot more options. And one thing that West Coast Outbuilding specializes in is in delivering to those challenging locations. So what we can do with our high mobility trailer, the crews that we have, and the access to the equipment that we do, we're able to take properties that would normally be unbuildable and turn them into a great option. We handle everything from, from day one. So when you come to us with a property and you tell us what you want to build, we handle design, we handle engineering, we handle uh, permitting with municipalities, we handle the water, the sewer, the solar energy, whatever you need, we handle it all for you. And we guide you through the process of what's required for your build. And in the end, when we turn over your keys, you have a complete project that's functional from day one.